Uh, coach, so what are the Nigerian words that you have learned as a Nigerian coach? What are the, the language, the word in Nigeria that you have learned? Language? Yeah, in Nigeria. What I think about the, yeah. the, 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 the language or the, my players or my team? No, the words. Let's talk about what kind of slangs in Nigeria you have okay, learned. I, speak, I try to speak English. But <laughs> okay. okay, I listen sometimes that uh, language, what is the name? Uh, Pidgin English? No, the, the... Aousa, Ibo, the, Yoruba? Yes, Aousa, Aousa. And what's, what in Aousa I, have you I, heard? I, I cannot understand. Okay. I try, I uh, big effort, but it's enough English. So let's talk about your team. You're playing against Guinea on Friday, first leg. How much of the Guinea team do you know? You want to beat them, okay? For qualifier. If you beat uh, Nige in the two match, you you qualify for the Afcon because you want to win the next Afcon. But the main point now, the, the key point now is uh, put a hundred percent our focus, our demand, the commitment for this match. Is um, you can say our team is better than Guinea, but in the pitch you must show. This is the main point because sometimes you can shoot uh, twenty times or twenty five. The opponent don't shoot, he can win one, 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 the match. Why? We can do one, one, one goal. Uh, for that, is take care, good rest, good, uh, good training, good uh, motivation, good, um, good uh, job, of course, uh, for uh, beat Guinea. For us. One of the biggest questions that everybody is asking in Nigeria is, how did you spot the boy from Yom Yom FC, Bamiyi, who scouted him for you and how did you decide that that's the player you want to have in your team? Who player? Uh, Bami, the boy, the Bami from the under 20. The ah, small. the guys, the both guys. Yeah. Daniel. Yeah. Uh, no, only Daniel. Okay. I call Daniel, I call uh, Victor. Yes. I call um, Kingsley, under 20. It's open. The door is open for everybody. Open for all the players. For the league. Under 17, under 20, under 23. If they show good potential, uh, if I evaluate, I take guarantee, I appreciate, I, I, they, they give for me um, good, good, good things, good signals, I can call them uh, for uh, proof here. Show for me if I am sure or not. So, so Samuel, you are having one of the best season in Spain. 11 goals, 11 assists, games after games. Everybody thought that this is going to be a tough season. What has changed in your game? So many things. It's because it's the lost doing. Uh, most especially it's the lost doing. Samuel Chikwezi, if you tell me it's the lost doing again, eh, yes. and you not answer me which I want, I will fight with you. be <laughs> ready. Okay, so what did you change in your training or your food eating habit? A lot of change in your game, and you create more assists now, you score more goals. What really have changed in your game? Uh, most especially, you know, the set part that happened during my last two seasons, the surgery, the two surgeries I did, and everything, trying to add that back and to get my fitness back and my confidence. It was a little bit difficult for me, but I think this time around, I think. Uh, I'm more the injury and the surgery I've already left, me, but I think I'm more okay and at this moment. I've learned so many things. I play under two coaches, and the first coach is Ona Mary and everything. I think every coach has their own pattern and everything. And it's more working and everything. And this new coach has his own pattern also, and it's more suitable for me also. And I cannot say I did not learn anything from Emily. I learned so many things from Emily also. And the new coach also. And I think the difference is I combine both of them to my game and I give my, my time and everything to rest and to, to watch more clips about my old games and everything to attack in what I did good and what I did bad to learn more for me to try after the training I think I have to spend more more hours to shoot to do so many things to know oh, we I have to pass the ball and we have to dribble and everything I think I, I'm, I'm trying to adapt more and everything my confidence is coming back the way I started um, in 2019, the surgery and the injury, you know, mentally it's very, very difficult for you to go through a knife and you come back and you're scared before you just tear or anything. So it's a little bit difficult for me to pass it. But sometimes people don't understand about this, this mentally, if it doesn't remove it, it's up for your head. It's going to be difficult for you. But for, for now, I think I'm more cool and, and I'm trying to 
run everything down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, there is this rumor that uh, Mikel Teta called you and told you that he would need you as uh, a competition for Bukayo Saka. And there's also the talk that Una Emery wants to take you to Aston Villa. Are you going to leave Villarreal or are you still going to be there? For now, I'm a Villarreal player. And my whole focus of this season is to do well and to keep them in a good position in the Champions League or in the Europa League. For us to go to the Europa League Champions League or next season, anyway. But for, the, for me to keep a good name for me, if I need to be a club. For now, I'm just focused on Villarreal. I'm going to be a club. Any rumor that is, you are listening to now is maybe in the future it will happen, but for now, I think I'm a Villarreal player. But if you have the power to choose any club that you want to play apart from Villarreal, which club would that be? For now, I don't think so. I don't think I have any power to choose any club. Uh, the only club I have to choose is Villarreal because they are the one they are playing under. They are one of the best clubs in Europe. Also. They won the Europa the last two years, I think. So I think we are actually doing the right this season. So, although we lost in the conference league. Um, in La Liga, I think. Nigerians, Nigerians should be expecting the new, the reborn. Samuel Chukwezi. Yeah, on Friday, I think. But I, the most especially thing is that I haven't lost in Abuja before. So I think I can never lose in Abuja. It's my home ground, so I can never lose in Abuja. On Friday, I think. I hope I'll see my, my great fans the way I saw them the last time in, in, against Ghana. Or they didn't work out well for us. It was a very bad. Very, very bad. I didn't lose, but it's just like it was true. But an aggregate because everything. I wish I would just see them on Friday and I'll be so happy to show them all how How painful was missing at and the World Cup was for you? It was a good player dream to be in the World Cup. Even if you're in my shoes, it would be painful. Sometimes I don't watch the World Cup. <laughs> the only time I watch the World Cup is when I see the semi-finals, when I see, ah, Morocco reached the semi-finals and it was an African team. So I said, when I watch it, I'm there watching the lost. Another painful because I wanted to reach the final because I wanted to fight for everything. They have removed all the strong country like Spain and Portugal. They have France surprised me, but it was a very great experience for them. It shows that our future is actually doing perfectly well. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Hey, Joe, how has it been uh, lately at uh, club level? Some people um, are wondering why you're not playing. Is it injury or is it coach's decision? Um, it's coach's decision. I think uh, every single coach has their own opinion on things. Um, for me, I'm not really too fast or too phased because it's all a uh, process. It's, for me, it's growing pains. Um, so, yeah, I just need to be patient and just wait on God's timing, which is perfect. So, yeah. How hard it is to go from being the number one on the list at Rangers and now, uh, you know, waiting to know whether you will start or you will not start? Um, of course it's difficult. For uh, any normal human, it will be difficult. But for me, um, I don't let that affect me too much. Um, I'm pretty strong-minded, so uh, how I deal with disappointment, I kind of use it to, to charge me and just try and improve the best that I can. And um, again, it's, it's God's plan. So at the end of the day, I, I shouldn't stress. I should just walk with faith and not by sight. One of the hardest questions a lot of people ask me about you is, uh, what is Joe Aribo's favorite position? We've seen you shred a position as a, as a second striker. We've seen you play from the wide area, pulling crosses. We saw your debut against Ukraine, orchestrating play from the middle and going to score. Yeah. If you have the power to decide what position to play, what's your favorite position on the field? Um, for me, I'd say it's as a box of box midfielder, so I'm um, up and down the pitch. Thank you That's very much. Yeah.